Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cannoli poke cake. It's a vanilla cake with holes poked into it, and they're filled with cannoli filling. It's frosted with vanilla buttercream and topped with cannoli shell pieces and mini chocolate chips. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. First, you're going to need to drain the ricotta to get rid of excess liquids that it may have. Excess liquid will make the filling too runny. So place a fine sieve over a medium bowl and line it with a cheesecloth or coffee filters. You don't have to line it if you don't want to. This just helps dry it out even more because it absorbs the liquid as well as draining it. And since liquid will be draining out of it, it will reduce the measurement. So add more than is needed to start with and measure it after draining it. Wrap it in plastic wrap and place it into the fridge for a minimum of 12 hours to let as much liquid drain out as possible. To make the cake, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then into a small or medium bowl, add in the flour, baking powder, and salt. Whisk them until they're combined, and set it aside for now. Then into a large bowl, add in the softened butter, and sugar, and cream them with an electric mixer on medium-low speed for 5 to 8 minutes until the mixture is light and airy. Don't beat it on a higher speed or it won't incorporate as much air into the mixture. Then add in the eggs one at a time, make sure they're at room temperature, mixing really well after adding each one. Then add in the vanilla extract and mix it in until it's combined. Alternate adding the dry ingredients and room temperature milk. Start with a third of the dry ingredients. Mix on low speed until just or almost combined. Add about half of the milk. Make sure the milk is at room temperature. Mix on low speed until just or almost combined. And keep alternating the two, ending with the dry ingredients. Once the last of the dry ingredients are added, mix until just combined or almost combined. Don't overmix the batter. And finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients. Again, don't overmix the batter. Lightly grease a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. Pour the batter into the pan. Spread it out and bake it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. When it's done, remove it from the oven and let it cool completely. Then you'll need to make half a batch of my best ever vanilla buttercream frosting. I'll put a link to it in the description box. I'll even put measurements for half the recipe in the description box, too. To make the cannoli filling, remove the drained ricotta from the fridge, measure it out, and place it into a medium bowl. Then add in the mascarpone, powdered sugar, vanilla extract and mini chocolate chips which is optional and mix them until they're combined 
Then you'll need some cannoli shell dough. I have a video showing how to make this, and I'll link to it in the description box. Roll out the dough nice and thin, trying to make it as thin as you can. And cut or break it into small pieces. There's no right or wrong way to do this, you just want small pieces of dough. Heat about 1 to 2 inches of oil in a saucepan until it gets up to 350 degrees. Then place the pieces one at a time into the oil and fry them until they're golden brown. Once the pan is full, don't add any more. If you crowd the pan, it will drop the oil temperature and they will take longer to brown and come out really greasy. If you like, you can bake these instead. To do that, preheat the oven to 450 degrees and bake them on a sheet pan for about 8 to 12 minutes until they're browned. When they're browned, remove them from the oil. And I like to place them onto a cooling rack set over a sheet pan so excess oil drips down and doesn't make the bottom soggy. Then keep going until all the dough is fried. Then let them cool completely. Once the cake is completely cooled, use the back of a wooden spoon to make big holes in the cake. Then add the cannoli filling on top and spread it out, letting it go down into the holes. Add the frosting on top and spread it out. It's totally fine if it's mixing with the cannoli filling. Add the cannoli shell pieces all over the top. Make sure they're completely cooled. And if you like, sprinkle some mini chocolate chips on top, too. And when you're ready to serve, cut out a piece and serve. And that's how to make a cannoli poke cake. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.